Let's get to the second, the second topic, right? This time, Has he had his minute, by Rabbi way? Shmuley, you will go first with a minute to say what you want to say, and then Muhammad, uh, the, Hijab, the question, you'll get yours. Please? So the theme is this, and the question is this for block two. Has Israel gone too far mm -hmm. in its response to the October the 7th terror attacks? OK, Rabbi Shmuley, you have a minute starting now. I just came here by taxi and passed a statue of Winston Churchill. That's in the lifetime of our parents, OK? He is the greatest British statesman of the 20th century. You know what he did when he had a genocidal threat, knowing that Hitler wanted to eviscerate, annihilate Britain? He carpet bombed all of Germany, Dresden, Essen, um, uh, Hamburg. Israel has not even gotten close to that. Israel does not send its air force to carpet bomb cities. It sends in its military. I have a friend who died, six, six children, 39, because he was personally trying to stop a Hamas terror tunnel. Israel is surgical. Israel is only going after the fighters. Israel has opened humanitarian corridors for the, for the Palestinians to go south. Hamas shoots them and makes sure they don't go. Hamas builds its military structures. Right, Shifa Hospital is this much hospital, and it's this much military. They love using Palestinians. And that's why they've stolen their money. They got, they got about $16 billion from the international community. There isn't one bomb shelter in, in Gaza. They don't care about the, the okay. civilians at okay. all. Israel's doing the right thing. Mohammed, Hamas. you have a minute. What I'm saying is the 100, 100 to 1 ratio comes from the following figures. We know that 10,000 civilians have died. Of them, uh, according to the IDF, as reported by The Guardian, 60 dozens, they say, about 60 uh, Hamas died which we're being liberal by saying 100 to 1 figures. For every one Hamas, you have to kill 100 civilians. That's effectively what we're saying. If the trajectory continues as it is, if the trajectory continues as it is, then you have to kill 3 million Palestinian civilians in order to kill 30,000 Hamas fighters. If you want to ex extinguish them, eviscerate them, annihilate them, destroy them, you have to do that. Now, you have Herzog, who is the president that you, uh, you interviewed, saying that all Palestinians... They are responsible. This man is being more slippery. He's being more slippery than the lubricants that he sells in his daughter's sex shop. And that's the reality <laughs> of the situation. Did you really just say that? You know, you seem obsessed with Jewish sex. It's bizarre. Yesterday, you actually spoke about Ben Shapiro's wife. Yes, you I actually, you, you said yes, to Ben Shapiro, yes, your did. wife's a coward. Well, you're more of a man. Is that what you're trying to yes, say? Then right. so you said that Jews have BDSM. We, you're speaking about no, no, sexual lubricants while people are, are dying. People are dying. Yeah. You know, Muhammad, get your head out of the Jewish bedroom. It's really bizarre. Let me ask Muhammad a question. Right. I don't disagree with you that so far, it seems to me, yes. obviously, yes. Uh, a, a fact that many, many more... Palestinian civilians, innocent people, are getting killed as retribution by the Israelis for what happened on October the 7th. That's indisputable, right? Their argument is that they're going after a terror organization, Hamas, and unfortunately in war, as Rabbi Shmuley correctly said about what Churchill did in World War II. Churchill was wrong. A lot of Churchill was wrong. Okay. Was he a war criminal? Y yes, he was. Yes, right. he was. Churchill was a war criminal. Yes, he was. Well, Churchill was, was a war criminal. All the British Let me do the question. Churchill was a war criminal. Okay. Let me do the George question. Six? Was George yeah, VI uh, war criminal? All of them war criminals. Uh, uh, really? Like 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 yes, of course. So anyone so his hang on, hang on. Rabbi Shmuley. War criminal. Let me ask. So let me get this straight. Absolutely. Collective punishment. You think Winston Churchill... Was a war criminal, yes. ...in standing up to the Nazis... By killing the babies... ...who killed 12 million people... I believe he was a war criminal. ...by doing what he did was a war criminal. By killing in Dresden and Hamburg. But by, by, by uh, indiscriminate killing, collective punishment. My morality says that's impossible. Okay, that means the British people who that's supported impossible. him Can't and kill voted him in. They were My also, morality says that's just impossible. A second, just a second. That's why I but believe. But the British yes. people. Yeah. You believe he was a war criminal? Yes. Okay. So, so therefore, you, your belief is that no retaliatory action. No, by you any can retaliate to the man, not to the babies. Tell me a war in history. Yes. Where civilians haven't been killed. No, oh, I'm not saying civilians haven't been killed. It's Just about this ratio. Or it's otherwise. about the ratio. It's no, about no, the ratio. What is the ratio? What's the ratio? 100 to 1 is unacceptable. Actually, morally, 100 to 1 is unacceptable. Actually, morally, 100 to 1 is unacceptable. Okay, well, 100 to 1 is an invention. Hang on, Rabbi Shmuley. So let me give you a ratio. Yeah. How many people did the Nazis kill? I don't know. You don't know. We know, six, we, know, we know they killed 6 million Jews. They killed 12 million people. I don't know. So we don't know. Including 6 million Jews. Sure. Right? Sure. So, 12 million, 12 million how, many died in, how many died in Dresden? How many civilians died in Germany? Do you know? I don't know exactly. Right. So, you don't actually know what you're talking about. I do know what I'm talking about because you I know in Dresden Churchill, and Hamburg. You said it's about. You, unless I'm wrong. Yeah, go ahead. Unless I'm wrong, yeah, go ahead. you said it's to do with the ratios. The ratios. Yes. But you don't know the ratios. When no, you no, call, I know for a fact. You call Winston Churchill. What are the numbers? Dresden and Hamburg. What are the numbers? Wait a minute, Rabbi Shmuley. When you call Winston Churchill a criminal for basing it on ratios, you don't even know what they are. No, I know for no. We, uh, there's difference of opinion among the, uh, the scholars. No, there isn't. There is difference. Say, there tell us the opinions. What, what are they? Tell, tell us. Tell us what they are. Hold on. There's of how many in Dresden? Excuse me. Stop speaking for me. How many in Dresden? Am I speaking too much? How many in Dresden? Whatever the number. 
You don't if, know if it it's all. indiscriminate, okay. I'm against it. No, he doesn't. That's he doesn't. Right. Right. Dresden, Dresden's Dresden. about 25,000. And uh, at the time, the, uh, the Germans were saying 250,000. We know it's about 25,000 today. Let me, be, let me be clear. Winston Churchill was the greatest statesman of the 20th century. He saved pretty. the world from I agree. Nazi terror. Yeah. That you could live in a country that is only around today because of the bravery of that man showing no gratitude is the height of... Stick on topic. Stick on topic. And to call all the British people who defeated the Nazis... Stick on topic. 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 Stop interrupting me. Stick on topic. Leaves many times to speak. War criminals. Stick on topic. His parents, all the other people who war criminals. Off topic. 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 Let me be clear. Off topic. Off topic. Don't interrupt each other. Let me be clear. Muhammad Hijab trades in falsehoods. 300 to 1? What are you talking 100 about? 100 to 1. And now he, says that the, now he says the Jews are about to kill 3 million people. I didn't say they're about to. I said The if. fact that this man considers you, you himself an Oxford academic. I was the rabbi at Oxford University for 11 years. This Did is a travesty. Did you graduate from there? 